I know it's been a while since I last posted on my page here. Uh, it's just with the COVID and such, it's been very, my life's been very limited as to what I can do and I haven't really seen anybody. Uh, so I figured, let me just post about Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. That's what I'm, t I'm taping right now, is Father's Day. Now Father's Day is a very important holiday. Contrast Father's Day uh, to Mother's Day, okay? Just to show you how important we are, dads. Mother's Day, if you walk into a Hallmark uh, card store, you walk into a grocery store now where they have flowers, you walk into a florist, and man, it's wall to wall, flowers, cards, gifts, things, balloons all over. It's like, it's like walking into a carnival. It's like walking into a circus. Things flying in the air, joy, great music playing. It's, it's just wonderful people dancing and having a happy time. Um, and then comes Father's Day. <laughs> you walk into these same stores and, uh, you know, the florist and the, uh, the supermarket might have one little round table somewhere uh, where they have like five plants or five, um, five flowers. They have one balloon on a plastic stick that says, Happy Father's Day. Uh, you walk into the card store and, you know, the cards for Mother's Day are wall to wall. They range from anywhere from $20 to hundreds of dollars. Designed by some of the greatest design, graphic designers, uh, written by poets and laureates and all kinds of great people. Tell, tell us how wonderful you are, Mom. Uh, yeah, I get, I get it. There is a difference between moms and dads. But anyway, I'm just having a little fun here, so don't get uptight. All right, so we're, I'm going to keep going. Um, Father's Day, you walk into that same card store, and all the way back on the right, is one shelf at the bottom lined with cards ranging from 99 cents to two dollars written by a intern that was an orphan who has no idea what fathers are about um, and printed on leftover stock leftover paper that they found in the back room somewhere and they had to get rid of uh, yeah <laughs> i'm going to tell you something these days they don't really they it, it's nice to be appreciated I say that, but I always appreciated my parents as much as I could. I, I mean, my dad died when I was young, um, so as best I could every day. And I know my kids do exactly the same thing. So I don't, I don't need today to do that. Now, today's a day. I mean, show your dad that you respect and honor him. If you have, you know, a good dad, and I'm not going to address the bad dad. Man, there's a ton of bad dads out there. I get it. I'm not addressing those. If you got stuck with one of those dads, I, I, I'm sorry for you. But I'm not going there. Okay, do that another time. I'm, I'm going to make this like kind of light and fun. So, I want you to appreciate your dads. Or your stepdad, if your stepdad stepped into those shoes, those big shoes, and created a, a, a father for you, for you to remember and, and gave selflessly like most of us do of our you know for our children then yeah he's not a stepfather he's a father as a matter of fact truth of the matter is is when I get stepfathers that show they, they'll show me as dads they will never show me from the other side as stepfathers I never hear the word step from the from fathers on the on the other side so even when they're crossed over they're around you know, maybe if, you, if you're missing your dad, if your dad's passed, uh, say a little prayer for, for him. Let him know you, you appreciate him. i got to tell you, it's not important uh, that you do that because they already know because they're, they're there for you. But it's, you know, it gives them, a, you know, a light heart. They, they do appreciate it. I, I shouldn't have said that you don't, you don't have to show appreciation. But they do appreciate it. We all do, you know. Um, I hope you're lucky enough to still have your dad today. I hope you get a chance to, if, he, if whether you're near or far, I hope you get a chance to say hello, be with him, uh, acknowledge him. If you guys are distant, like sadly, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that a lot today. I'm seeing fathers that are distant from their kids. Um, 
it's a sad state of affairs. It's happening with mothers too, but I'm, I'm addressing fathers today. If that's the way you don't, if that's the way you are as, as, a, as a child, whether it's an adult child or you know, try to uh, try to try to heal, because you know what happens. And I see this often. You think they're going to be here all the time, and you think, well, I'll just heal tomorrow, the next day, and then they pass, and you never got that opportunity. And with COVID, sadly, we're seeing a lot of fathers passing. And it's just, that's a sad state of affairs, too, because not everybody's dying of COVID. And I'm telling you that they're, they're taking advantage of this and they're making us feel bad that our parents are dying of COVID. Uh, very, very often, I get people to come to me and I, I see that the COVID was actually like a heart attack or, or something in the lungs or something more. It was just a contributing factor yet they're, they're, they got us on a death watch. So if you think it was just the COVIDs, uh, think again, probably not, probably something else that they had, cancer and stuff like that. And don't, you know, stop worrying about it, by the way, because I know people that were high risk, uh, obese, cancer, heart conditions, that got it and made it through, all right? But I'm gonna stay on Father's Day, sorry I get off. You know, fathers today, aren't like they were years ago. My dad, and I'm gonna acknowledge him a little bit, flew in World War II and threw missions over Germany against a, a tyrant who was trying to take over the world. These guys were brave beyond brave. The stuff that they did was amazing. Um, my dad, I'm sorry, I'm a little itchy. My dad, uh, his first mission, they were shot down. It was a special mission, it was a special plane, they were trying to intercept radio waves coming from Germany and, and relay them down to Europe. People don't realize that what radio waves just went straight out, they didn't follow the curve of the earth. And Nazis were not supposed to be on the Channel Islands, they were, they got shot down, they ditched, they got picked up by the British Navy. This, he and his crew went on to fly 34 missions that were registered, plus someone, from what I understand, talking to some of My dad died when I was 16. So I didn't get a lot of my dad. I, I got some of the stories. I have his war records. I was able to locate his crew, his surviving crew. Um, and uh, these guys are brave guys. They told me that they would jump on a plane. You know, we need a navigator on this 17. We need a pilot. We need a gunner. The radio man, Tago, they would call. They would jump on that plane. These were real men. We don't have those today, sadly. And we don't have people that understand the importance of freedom and the important importance of freedom of speech. We don't have these men. The young men of today, I'm not going to call them young men, the young boys of today, they follow their girlfriends around. Now, we all did. I'm not, going to, I'm not getting into that, man. Every guy did. But we didn't let them dictate and run our lives and tell us how to live our lives. We always had to be us. Now, here's a little relationship tip. By the way, uh, just real quick, my new book, is called I Can't Find Your Boyfriend, I Can't Find Your Keys, My Life is a Call Bar. The cover's been designed. We have two designs. I'm, I'm waiting for the second one. The editors are working on the, um, the, the writing. So hopefully I'm going to have that out by July, the uh, mid to late July. But anyway, <clears throat> um, these guys, they, they just really had it did what they did and as a young boy I realized that I had to be me the kids today they're not me they you know the girlfriend says jump they're like how high and oh I'll follow you anywhere that's why the young girls are taking over right now and unfortunately there's not some there's some really there's a real lack of intelligence among the young people I'm amazed but uh, at any rate let me get back to what I was talking about sorry I drift some sometimes I said a prayer this morning for the fathers that we lost, the fathers that were in law enforcement that were shot, the fathers that were at war and were killed, the fathers that were firefighters and other first responders that are no longer with us. Perhaps you could say a prayer for them as well. Just take a second. If you don't believe in God, that's too bad because you're in for big shock. So acknowledge your dad, whether they're here or on the other side, uh, or on the other side. If they're on the other side, don't be sad, don't be miserable. I understand what you go through, but no, please no. And those of you who come to me, 
know that they are there for you. Okay, listen, I've got a new little saying I'm signing off with. Uh, for today in particular, I like to quote George Washington, who once said, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. That's who I am. I uh, Please stay hopeful, never hopeless, and always remain optimistic, never pessimistic. Enjoy the rest of the day, and uh, enjoy your life, and make your life good. There's only one person that can do that, that's you. So look for my new book in July. I'll probably do some more posts, so you'll be, I'll be beating the hell out of this, okay? Have a great day. Keep a sense of humor, folks. Get your sense of humor. Good things are coming. Things are changing. Trust me on that. It's not going to be as bad as you think. Talk to you soon. Adios.